it's your boy Michael here back with another Madden Mobile 23 video. And this video, guys, E has dropped the final Frontier promo. Um, um, uh, like four days ago, I believe. Like, uh, like four days ago, five days ago. Um, yeah, four days ago. So guys, if you guys, uh, so guys, I'm recording this video, uh, on a Saturday night, alright, it is 10 o'clock for me, so it's about to be Sunday morning, two hours away from Sunday, so, and guys, I do want to apologize for trying not to get, I uh, delay this video late, upload this video, it's because I didn't feel like making a bad video, plus I was dealing a bunch of stuff, um, uh, this week, alright, but there's no reason. I mean, there is a reason, and, and there should not be any uh, problems. It's alright for not uploading a Madamol video because, like I say, guys, if you guys have been paying attention to any content creators, you know what I'm saying, and and EA on Discord, Madamobile on Discord. So yeah, yeah, guys. So this is the final promo of Madamol 23. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys excited for Manimal 24? Me, I'm excited just because, you know, I we all of us could agree that it is, um, we're just excited for the new reset, new refresh, and hopefully the game will be better. Um, or hopefully some improvements this season. Alright. So, yeah, I, I'm hyped for Manimal 24. Um, so, I'm recording this on a Saturday, so... In about like 10 days, guys, we'll get, we'll possibly get Madden Mobile 24. And guys, uh, my predictions on the day release is August 10th to 16th, which means that I am right on the money that we're going to get Madden Mobile 24 possibly on August 10th, which is the target date. Now, I, I would love to see um, the game drop early, a day early. On the 9th, which will be on a Wednesday of August, but we're just not sure. But it, that's a maybe, all right. That would be like that's like a 70 percent, 50 to 60 percent. So, yeah, but if not, definitely for sure on the 10th of August. And guys, you guys see that this promo will end on the 8th of August, which means that is the game shutdown, all right. So so, yeah, man, let's get into this promo. So, yeah, we got a 236 cam doing that everyone is happy and excited about that they dropped the, a cam new card. And, and and I do feel kind of cool. I feel kind of, I feel happy about they dropped a cam new for the for the final promo of this final frontier. We haven't had a cam new card in such a long time, for sure. And hopefully we get we do get one um uh, for Battle Twenty Four for any like promos of holiday or something like that. But yep, we got a Cam New in the game finally, and we also got Sean Taylor our final two Mana match that they will be dropping. Sean Taylor right there, RIP. You guys can see he's a safety. I was kind of disappointing. I was disappointed at first when they showed that they're gonna drop a Sean Taylor card because I was wanting a, I was hoping they could drop a safety because I ended up picking a Mad Max safety and I'm like, oh shoot, they dropped a Sean Taylor card and that kind of makes me sad and disappointed that they dropped it. Which I just kind of found that I can actually add the Sean Taylor because you can put in the nickel or dime slot of the cornerbacks and safety so Shanta is going to be the Mad Max I'll be looking forward to get uh, these iconics I'm not really up for to them just because I'm my team is almost stacked for a Mad Max sis so yeah I'm gonna be stocking on Mad Maxes all right so you guys uh this pro will be out for two weeks long but as I'm recording, there is 
exact there's like nine days left of this promo. So guys, uh, this promo format format is actually pretty cool. It's actually fire. I do actually like it. You guys see the planets, the the space looking cool. So, so guys, I completed the Jupiter, the Saturn, and Venus or Mars uh, journey events because I end up spending some uh, uh, stamina and my life pass rewards and training a iconic foil for stamina. So I got a really big head start in the promo. All right. So what you guys want to do is play all these events until you get to the moon. You'll get rewards. All right. And then um, you have to pick each. You got to pick which plan do you want to go with next. And guys, I will tell you that the Jupiter, I think, or Mars, is is one of those one of those two is has a shorter um. Uh, event um the journey page all right and saturn i think it's the longest uh, one so far so once you guys like unlock one of the planets you're gonna play all the events and you're gonna do them all as they go in order and you go back to the moon obviously and you do it again so it's basically you're traveling through planets and going back to earth or the moon and then go back and choose another planet to so yeah, to blast off. Are you guys see that each planet can be visited three times before the events reset on August 1st. So August 1st, guys, is around the corner, surprisingly. So if there is four days left. Uh, left until the actual events refresh. All right. And also, guys, the daily challenges you got your overall challenges if you guys want to do it the final one is 7251 which is not too difficult to get as you guys can see i'm already at 7200 overall which i'm happy about so i would say at the end of the season you could possibly um um do all of these but with every currency transferring to season to matter mobile 24 Madden Mobile 24, uh, you guys should not be spending coins or your cash on anything like you don't need to spend on huge, uh, worthly, alright? And I know some people are arguing this is the journey to um, get the 10,000 amount of cash before the season, which you guys could definitely do that if you guys want if you guys want to because it is 10,000 cash and cash is worth much worth and cash is a much need for next season and you guys can see that I am at 18,900 cash I'm at 19,000 just before I did my daily goals and stuff like that all right um, you guys see the sets so guys once so guys you guys know what I'm talking about about you have to complete all the planets events if you guys do that you got if you guys to see if you guys play every single um, um, Mars Jupiter and Saturn events but on the planet if you guys win it you will get a patch and once you complete all three of these you'll get a rare plus player chance all right which means that you guys could guarantee a rare player with a chance at an epic player. Which I love that. I like that addition to the they did with the set. Um yeah. And I have not pulled anything crazy. I just pulled three rares. But it is alright. Rares is very valuable too than on common plays. So guys, the only set that you guys should be doing for converting your uncommon frontier players to rares is doing this player collector set. And this is the a set that they drop first drop with the all rookie promo. And I do love this set because you're basically saving three uncommon players than trading ten uncommon players for is for two rare players. Because you guys can see that you're getting two rare players by completing 
by putting seven of Pacific on commons, basically for in the promo what we have for on commons of rares. All right. So yeah, if I say if I do this set, I just get one rare, but in reality I'm getting two rares for the price of one for putting seven in here. So you guys do this set because it is much valuable and you guys can use your token exchange to do the uncommon select for these specific ones and you can complete that set many times as you like. Alright. Uh, the five plus uncommon players for twelve hundred tokens. I will absolutely will not recommend doing this, and I will suggest you guys doing the five uncommon players. That's it because it is much more valuable than doing this. You guys see the oh, the difference, all right? The differences. And guys, you can do this if you want to, but I suggest you just do it one time. If you do not pull anything crazy, do not do not do that set anymore. All right. Also, you guys could. Uh, where's that set? Oh, it's actually not here. Oh wow, they actually get rid of it. Uh, wow, they actually get rid of it. Okay. Well, guys, there was a set that um, you can uh, use to spend 900 collectibles and you'll get a chance at more players, but it uh, looks like they, it's only a one-time offer. And guys, you're going to put your five rare uncommons and put it in here for an epic player, just like I'm doing right now. There we go. So guys, my progress so far on this Final Frontier promo is I have 10 of these um, uh, epic players right here so far, alright? So guys, I am 5 epic players away from getting Sean Taylor. So that is very good progress, alright? Hey guys, keep in mind this is a this it's been out for four days, four and a half days as I'm recording this, and I got ten epic players already, just because I did the overall challenges and I did all my daily goals and used my cash for like achievements and for daily events for the field pass points. All right. Now the reason I am doing that, so uh, now I know you're not supposed to do that. You're just gonna have to just. I know you're supposed to just spend 100 cash every single day for your daily objectives because you do get more of your cash back. You're getting your 100 cash back from completing all seven of your daily goals. But in reality, you're getting more um, valuable stuff in the promo. So, you guys, I am going for Sean Taylor, and I'm also be looking forward to get another Mad Max of the Final Frontier when it comes out. And if you guys already know, I'll get into that in a minute to wrap that video to wrap this video up. If you guys want to to get a Final Frontier icon player, you're gonna put five epic players, random epics, and you're gonna put and you're gonna get a Final Frontier to eighteen. So each individual iconics is going to be two hundred eighteen, which is not bad. And you guys can see the fours are two thirty six. I'm uh, just going to check if I have anything left over. Alright, I don't. Alright guys, so... If you guys have already known or seen it, is that um, EA has accidentally released the Manamax uh, player that we're supposed to be getting for the Final Frontier promo sec when the 2nd of uh, August 1st comes out. All right, and you guys can see that um, the player that we will be getting upcoming is this 250 overall Patrick Willis right here, 49ers legend. You guys can see he is a middle linebacker, and I actually do need a middle linebacker for my team, so I'm gonna try to go for him as well, and that will make 
So guys, me gaining Sean Taylor and um, uh, this Patrick Willis makes my defense a full Mad Max defensive uh, team. All right. So which is kind of cool. So you guys can see Patrick Willis is going to be our next, our final, final Madden Max of the season. You guys can see there's his final foil at 270. And yeah, guys, there you guys have it. That is it for the video, guys. So guys, let me know in the comments below what are you guys going to be going for in this promo. Alright. Um, I'm going to show you guys my team before we wrap up the video. Alright. So you guys can see that. Um, um, you guys can see there's a little bit of upgrades. I am now gaining uh, Ray Ray McLeod. Kick returner Mad Max. And I train him up. Because he is my guy before he got traded. I also end up gaining TJ Watt and Charles Haley from the last promo that we got. And I also got Aaron Donald as well. And I also got Eric Berry, which I just told you guys about the Sean Taylor situation that I talked about. He's a fire card. I also got Darren Woodson for my random, I believe. Yeah, it was a random. Yeah, it was a random. I got lucky on that too. And that's about it for the upgrade on my defense. I ended up getting a foil 303 Randall Cunningham and Max all foiled and, and Max out. He is a fire card. I also got my first two offensive linemen. My first offensive guard, Mad Max. Right here, Marshall Yanda, Joe Thomas, off of the tackle. And I also got some new addition iconics for the, for the linemen right here. I got, of course, I got Connor Williams right there. Got, I got from the summer splash promo. And I also got Christian McCaffrey too from the final, for the 4th of July promo. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, guys, um, that is it for the video. Um, sometime later on this week, I will be, um, making a video about what, what things that you guys should do right now before Madam Moment 24 does start, all right? Because there is some very important and valuable tips that it could give you a great start in Madam Moment 24, all right? So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be thinking about making a video in a couple of days before August 1st about in Amy Limo, uh, what you guys should be doing before the content drops, you know. But yeah, guys, this video is, is getting long. I'm going to wrap it up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the final promo, final frontier, and let me know what you guys got. And let me know what you guys are going for. All right.